Okay, refraction allowing you to see the curved surface as being flat. We've got the fish tank and the little laser right there. And I have a piece of curved aluminum stuck in there to represent a curved surface. It's just a strip of aluminum. And I've got some little clay towers built up on it. You can see I've got the laser beam going down kind of so it's not actually hitting the towers even though they're lit up pretty good. It's going between them. You can actually see it goes uh, all the way through the tank and hits the wall over there. So you can see the laser beam and the uh, aluminum curve are pretty much running the same distance from each other more or less. And you'll notice the from the end view here that piece of curved aluminum looks pretty straight and so does the laser beam for that matter. But that's because we're viewing it through the same density gradient that the light is traveling through. If we look at the side, of course, we can see that it's actually curved. Both the aluminum and the laser beam are curved. This is a saltwater density gradient. Okay, I've removed the laser so that now I can get right on the end view, you can see the aluminum is still curved. But from the end view, you can see the aluminum looks pretty straight. Maybe even a little bit concave, but just a little bit. You can see all three of those putty towers are, are visible all at the same time right in front of each other. Raise it up a little, you can see it can come all the way down and we can still see the surface. Let's see if I can do this. You can still see the surface between the um, middle and farthest um, putty tower, even though the near putty tower is almost as high as the mark, see? It really looks flat. But it's really not flat. Okay, now I've set it up. See, I've got some bricks here. And I'm setting this up so that it's looking right along like this, except it doesn't want to stand up for me very well, the silly phone. Okay, let's see what happens when I mix this. Bit. Wow, the, the far towers are getting all mixed up.
this is going to take way too much mixing. I was hoping to mix it till it was homogeneous, but it's just salt's going to keep dissolving off the bottom, I think. Well, I don't know, I'm gaining on it. You'll notice now the far um, tower is gone from view. It used to be right, right, showing up right in the middle here. And it's gone now. And the middle, this is the middle tower, and it's sunken down. So I've actually gotten rid of a lot of refraction. You'll notice you can no longer see the rest of that um, aluminum because we were actually below it looking up over the top of it and now it's um, refraction has gone so we're just looking at the end of it now okay see now zoom back out here. See now it's curved. Now it looks curved. Because I mixed up the density gradient. I got rid of the I got rid of the refraction from the density gradient and now our um, curved thing looks curved again. And you can see now that far tower it goes down and dips right out of view. And then the middle tower starts to dip down. And just for uh, completeness, I'll just pull this out of there so you can see what it's like. So it's not curved a lot, but it's curved some. And just for shortening. See, we can no longer line up all three towers. Now if I turn it upside down, now we can see from end to end because it is, we're looking at the concave side. But it was curved and that density gradient made it appear straight when viewed from the end. Well, I guess now that I got my gradient mixed up, the show's over.